Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, back with another Guilty Gear Strive character first impressions video like I've been doing. Uh, they've just released the first character of Season 4 and she happens to be my absolute favourite Guilty Gear character ever. So, uh, let's talk about Dizzy. <laughs> Uh, as usual, I've made, like, a little slideshow sort of thing, so I can talk you through some of the lore and stuff. Um, she's kind of a major character in the series, so there's a bit to talk about. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna dive in and chat about her, and then I'll jump into training mode, try her out in the game. In this game, I mean. Uh, I've played her in Exile and stuff. Um, and then jump into arcade mode and see what her new story's about. Um, I don't know if there'll be that much story, because she does have a role in the actual story mode in this game, and in Exard, and in XX, and in X, and she's a really important character. <laughs> but let's talk about her. How cute she is. Uh, Alright, so yeah, I've got my little slideshow here. Boop. So yeah, Dizzy was introduced in Guilty Gear X, the second game in the series, which was released in the year 2000. Uh, it was the first one to go to in, like an arcade machine. Um, The original game was only on PS1, but it's, it was like, effective it was successful enough that they were able to do an arcade release for the next one, which was cool. Uh, this was her original sort of look. Um, she looks a little bit different in-game. Oh, I have some screenshots later so you can see, but essentially this is what she looked like. Um, so in Guilty Gear X, the premises are... The, like, the Crusades have pretty much just ended officially because Justice was killed, the leader of the Gear army. Uh, and so there's, like this really big anti-gear sentiment throughout humanity at that exact time. Uh, and then there's these rumours spreading that there's this gear still alive somehow, even though the commander has been defeated. There's this one gear just sort of hanging out in a forest somewhere, who's still existing and strangely isn't doesn't seem to want to hurt anyone and is just sort of chilling. Um, so even though, you know, she's not bothering anyone and she's just doing her own thing, uh, Everyone wants to kill her, <laughs> because she's a gear. Um, and basically, yeah, she's really wary of humans, and she's just uh, very frightened and innocent and precious. Um, she's also incredibly powerful. She can basically obliterate continents if she wanted to, but she doesn't want to. She's this absolute pacifist who just doesn't want to hurt anyone ever. Uh, she's just this little sweetie pie. Um... And yeah, so she's, she's trying to avoid people, she's just really scared of everyone, uh, and she's actually being protected by Testament. Um, in the first game, Testament, you know, they were under the, uh, Justice's control, uh, and while they were under her control, they kind of sort of got their dad killed. Uh, so now they're trying to atone, now that they have their free will back, they're atoning for the stuff they did that was all shitty and horrible in the previous game by protecting Dizzy, who is completely innocent and deserves to be kept safe from the humans and all that stuff. Uh, and you can see she's playing with little fuzzy animals there, that's that's pretty much Dizzy's vibe. <laughs> that's what she's like. Um, but because, you know, she is a gear, uh, and there's actually like a half a million world dollar bounty placed on her head, just because she is a gear, and people are like, why is there still a gear existing? Uh, so... Basically, yeah, everyone wants to kill her just for existing, and all these bounty hunters are hunting after her, and she's she's got to hide in the forest, and she's just not having a peaceful time at all, even though she would love to have a peaceful time, because she's so innocent and sweet. Um, so basically, Dizzy is the final boss in Guilty Gear X, and the fight looks like this. Um, she's just sitting there, in the forest, you know, in her little grove with all, all the cute little animals, Literally with a little squirrel in her lap. Um, she, she puts the squirrel aside, and she, she's like, she doesn't want to fight. You just leave her alone. You're the bad guy here. Not in the sense that he's called sole bad guy, in the actual sense that you are the villain of this game. And Dizzy is the, like, completely innocent, completely harmless girl whose home you're invading for essentially no reason. Um, and, like, I, ha I haven't got samples, but we'll hear it later. Um... I mean, we might. <laughs> um, she, she has a thing called Ore of She, uh, which is like this beautiful coral arrangement in this game that's just, it's just, it's it's like you broke it into a church and just started like killing people for no reason. It's sort of the vibe you get. Um, 
And yeah, like, she's so precious and so kind and innocent. And you notice some... Also, she's not wearing the same outfit here. Uh, she, like, switches into that other outfit when she starts combat. It's it's kind of like... Or it, it, it is basically like her battle outfit. Um, um, normally she wears, you know, like, dresses and stuff like this, and she looks really precious and baby. <laughs> um, so... That's basically the setup for Guilty Gear X. Dizzy is wanted because she's got this huge bounty on her head and there's this huge anti-gear um, anti sentiment and everyone is going after her, literally it's because she's a gear. That game introduced two new characters, uh, Jam and Venom, who are going after her as well as bounty hunters, literally just because there's a bounty. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, like says she's done nothing wrong, but everyone's going after her just, just because she's to be a gear. Uh, so, canonically, Soul fights her and wins. Uh, he's really powerful. He is also a gear, after all. But then he decides to spare her life because this kind, gentle, uh, precious angel girl who is just living life and being delightful and precious is like everything that Soul originally hoped for when he was working on the gear project. Um, and yeah, he just lets her be. Um, I also fights her. Um, obviously this is a screenshot from XR, but it's like a flashback, so. Um, I isn't trying to hurt Dizzy in the first place. He's trying to show her that she doesn't need to be afraid of her powers because there are humans strong enough to withstand her. Um, because he's a sweetheart and he's like, he just does things like that. <laughs> um, this, this story gets told in Exard as a flashback, it's very sweet. Um, the actual, like, canonical thing that happens after that is uh, the Jellyfish Pirates find Dizzy. So this is Johnny here. Um, but the Jellyfish Pirates, you know, they weren't looking for the bounty, they were looking for Dizzy so they could protect her, bring her onto the ship, keep her safe. And she just basically gets adopted as one of the Jellyfish Pirates. She gets, like, a, a uniform and she just represents December, basically, because there's no December Jellyfish Pirate, and her name starts with D, and it, it just sort of works. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's super adorable, and May loves her, and it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> uh, and that brings us to Guilty Gear XX, or X2, depending on what region you're in. Um, so this is Dizzy is now a Jellyfish Pirate, and she's just hanging out with her new little found family and being happy and cozy and stuff. And then Eno shows up. Uh, and Eno just basically spends that game trying to cause trouble for no reason, just because she's a dick. <laughs> um, and one of the things she does is chuck Dizzy off of the mayship, uh, and she gets lost in the forest again and has to find her way back home and stuff like that. Uh, eventually May does find her and she gets rescued, which is good. Um, and yeah, they get taken home. There's some confusion there, because Potemkin actually was trying to help Dizzy in the first place, and May just kind of assumed that he was being nasty. Uh, but yeah, um, they rescue Dizzy, she gets home safely. Uh, she does meet some new friends on the way, which is very adorable. <laughs> um, there isn't a whole lot of stuff that happens in XX. I mean, there is a lot of stuff that happens, but it's not, like, important stuff, if that makes sense. Like, in, in the original X, everything is about how Dizzy's story uh, evolves and things like that, whereas in X-Act she's just sort of part of the cast and everyone else is going on their own adventures. Um, the next game I'm, like after that would be Accent Core. This one's kind of not technically canon, but there's some stuff in here that I think is worth mentioning. Um, basically, uh, the reason it's not exactly canon uh, is that the main team thought they were sort of done with Guilty Gear XX Reload, or, or Sharp Reload, or whatever you want to call it, um, which was the version, which was like the first revision they made to the game, uh, and then Accent Court came later as another version of Guilty Gear XX. Um, and at this time, there were some copyright issues with the Guilty Gear X games, um, which I think complicated some of the stuff they wanted to do and made it more difficult to move forward with XR, which took several more years. Um, but basically, yeah, this game, you can see Dizzy looks a bit different. She's the same design in game, it's just different artwork style. Um, this game finally gave her an instant kill, uh, which is, you know, a mechanic everyone has in Guilty Gear. Um, except Dizzy until this game. <laughs> her instant kill is called I Can't Contain My Strength, 
Uh, and it looks like this. She basically, she goes into this, uh, shadow demon form of sorts, uh, and it's clearly very painful for her, and she's not having a good time. And that instant kill is also mechanically terrible. It has really weird inputs, and it's really bad and hard to use. So, I feel like they made it sort of diegetic that this is a bad thing for Dizzy and you shouldn't be doing it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Um, that game also, again, like, it's not canon, but this part of it was also done in the next canon game, so it sort of counts. Um, Izzy decides, you know, like, I love the Jellyfish Pirates, but I also, I really like this, this, uh, this knight guy here, Kai. He's been such a sweetheart. I think I might hang out with him for a while. And she moves in with him. Um, and you can see she's being adorable in his study or something and just being... A sleepy girl. Um, it's super cute. <laughs> and she's just very cozy. Um, so yeah, this game doesn't technically happen, but this part of it does, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, you've also got, this is this is just a random illustration from Accent Core. It doesn't really have any canonical meaning at all, but you can see um, that, you know, when they drew this, just as an illustration to just look cute. It's just Dizzy hanging out with all the other girls and being happy and cozy and stuff. Also, Bridget's there for some reason. I don't know if that's going to be foreshadowing for anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, she's, she's just literally just a girl. She's just hanging out. <laughs> and look how happy she is. It's very cute. <laughs> uh, so the next, the actual next game, uh, this one is canon again, but also it's weird. Uh, the next game... Uh, was Guilty Gear 2 Overture, uh, which officially is the sequel to the original Guilty Gear, which is why they called it 2, sort of skipping over all of the X games. But Dizzy is an important character in this game, but because of the copyright issues, they couldn't use her name. <laughs> uh, so the way they sort of justified all this in-universe is that uh, this takes place a few years later, uh, in the year 2185, uh, and there's this event called the sublimation of Gears that's been happening, which is like basically Gears that is vanishing, uh, which which is killing them. Um, so because, you know, Kai cares for Dizzy and wants to keep her safe, uh, he seals her uh, using his magic sword and it basically puts her in stasis so that she is protected from the sublimation. Um, and they're both pretty miserable about that because they can't see each other and Dizzy's just basically out of commission for a while. Um, and this is what she looks like when sealed. Um, Overture was like a, a 3D action game, kind of a Dynasty Warriors sort of thing, rather than a fighting game, so, um, yeah, it's got a very different look to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's where Dizzy was during this game. As I mentioned, they couldn't say her name, so they had to call her the Maiden of the Grove, uh, as a little code name sort of thing. Um, and I kind of buried the lead here because uh, she actually has a son in this game too, uh, Sinkisk, uh, whom you may have seen before, who is uh, Kai and Dizzy's son. So after you know moving in with Kai, she you know ended up falling in love as you do, uh, and they had a kid. Uh, and Sin hatched from an egg because that's I guess how gears work. Uh, and then in this game, he's like three years old, and he's this the three. I think it's three. <laughs> yeah, and he's already, you know, a giant adult guy because that's just how gears work. Gears are weird. <laughs> um, and yeah, Sin is a playable character and he's newly introduced in this game, whereas Dizzy is not playable, doesn't really make an appearance outside of her sealed form, can't use her name. Copyright is weird. <laughs> um, fortunately, uh, by the time of Exar, the next game, They'd sorted the copyright stuff out, and they could have Dizzy back in the game again. Uh, she got a slightly new look, she's got like a little vest thing uh, on the front there, but otherwise this is basically the same Dizzy that we remember. Um, but because she's back in the story and playing a full role again, uh, we get to see, you know, she's, she's happily married, and she's this sweetheart, sweetheart little, little pairing. It's the cutest thing ever, honestly. I love these two together. So cute. So, so cute. Um, and yeah, here's a scene from Exard Sign. This is basically just after Dizzy gets unsealed and they can see each other again. They get very cuddly and it's very sweet. 
Um, also, you know, she has a son, so she's a bit of a, a mother now as well. As in, she's literally a mom. She's not a bit of a mother. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this off my head, so I'm gonna say some weird shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's she's quite a parent, and it's very cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then that. Um, so in Exar, uh, she helps out in like the battle against Ariels when they're trying to defend everything and stop the Conclave and all that stuff. Um, and in this this scene is from Exard Rev 2, uh, which is like they put in another story mode after the previous story mode when they did a balance update, essentially from the original Exard Revelator. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, um, I ends up saying, you know, I'm gonna tell everyone about how I'm dating Dizzy here, who is a gear. Um, because although Kai has been, you know, made a king, uh, it's sort of a blackmail situation where it's like, be the king or else we will tell everyone that you're dating a gear, uh, and that will put Dizzy in danger and she wants, to, and he doesn't want to hurt her, obviously, because he loves her. Um, and that is the way that Kai became one of the three kings of Illyria. It's like a puppet king sort of thing. Um, and yeah, so basically in this, in this part, Kai is saying, I'm gonna tell everyone, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come out and share the truth of my family because I don't think you should have to hide. Um, I think you're an incredible person exactly the way you are and I love you. And it's so sweet. So good. Um, so basically, yeah, Kai said he was going to do that in this story mode. Uh, and then we get to Strive, finally. Dizzy has not been playable in this game until just now and she barely appears in the story mode. But in another story, which is like, again, they did an extra update that added a second story mode sort of thing, like with Rev 2. Um, and like right at the end of it, you get this part, this little epilogue that's basically saying uh, that Kai went out, told everyone, hey, I am abdicating the throne. By the way, my family are awesome. This is Dizzy. She is a gear. She is the best person in the world. You should love her. Uh, is essentially what happened. And then the story very strongly implied that Dizzy is the new queen. Um, it didn't literally say it. <laughs> like, it says this, which is not literally saying it, but it's really, really strongly implied. <laughs> uh, and then finally, um, like, what is it, three years later or something, uh, we finally get our new character, who is Queen Dizzy. Uh, and you can see, yeah, she's got a little bit of a new look again. Well, I mean, she's got quite a new look. Uh, she's got, you know, a dress and stuff, uh, like she was wearing outside of battle before. Uh, her hair's been redone with flowers and stuff. Uh, her little, her wings are a different sort of colouring, stuff like that. But yeah, Queen Dizzy's here. <laughs> and she's my absolute favourite Guilty Gear character, and I love her with all my heart. And... He's so, so good. And we're just gonna just jump in and play her a little bit. <laughs> I have already heard a theme. Um, for some reason, they decided to release it a few days early. It's called Radiant Dawn. It's fantastic. Uh, I've probably listened to it over a hundred times at this point. I've just had it playing over and over. <laughs> um, it is a delight. Uh, so we're just gonna jump into training mode. Uh, and we're just gonna try our buttons out. Uh, here we go. There she is, being absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we're just gonna put her in with Kai. Makes sense, right? Oh, by the way, um, I haven't updated my mod to put separate text for Dizzy, but as you saw in my slideshow earlier, I do have a lot of text I can use for Dizzy, so... Uh, I will be doing that shortly after I finish recording this. <laughs> Uh, but first, let's just see how she plays. As I mentioned, I have played her in Exard, so I kinda know. But they usually do change things a bit with each game, so... We'll see how she plays in this one. Uh, I do know that she's got some kind of weird mechanics. Um, there's this thing called Wings of Light, uh, which I'll probably try out. <laughs> uh, that is kinda weird. Um, uh, but let's just get in and have a little look at here. Okay, so... Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so yeah, she's got... She's... Oh, beautiful. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, um, she kind of had a, a combat outfit before. You can see she's still wearing a dress now. Uh, it seems like that's like a development as a person. Like she doesn't need the combat outfit anymore. Uh, she can just be herself and be the prettiest ever. Okay, her, her backwards walk animation is so cute. Look at that. Oh, I love her. Okay, <laughs> let's try some buttons. Uh, okay, so her punch Necro pops out. Oh yeah, by the way, her wings have names. This is Necro. <laughs> and just does a little boot. Oh, her kick is her tail. Oh, that's so cute. Flash, that's Undyne. Uh, un little Ice Spear. Oh, and she's got like a big swoosh. Nice. What's her crouch? Okay, so while crouching, P and K are pretty much the same. Uh, but Slash and Heavy Slash are Necro using an axe. Uh, Neko did have that in previous games, that's not new. Now uh, what about a dust? Alright, oh, uh, Neko goes flippy. <laughs> Cute. Oh, uh, uh, crouching. Okay, her sweep is like a big Neko slash, nice. Um, what about a grab? That's not a grab. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, her grab is Necro, like, squidges them, and then she tells oh. oh, that's so cute! I really love Dizzy. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. Okay, um... 6P is like, a, like a, just punch upwards. Okay. That seems to be the only command normal, as far as I can tell. Uh, let's open that command, let's just have a little look. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, that's where her, her, uh, her, uh, narwhal is. <laughs> right, so, um, obviously this is a shapeshifter. Her tail... Uh, would turn into just, like, a big mouth in previous games. Uh, but evidently, uh, it's, it's... She's figured out a form that Tail likes a little bit better. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, her HS counts as a command normal? Interesting. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, okay, okay. So if I just hold the button, bump, 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 it freezes them for a sec. Okay, okay. Uh, and yeah, the freeze is just a thing she can do. Um, she did always have ice, always have the ice powers. Um, Necro used to have fire powers, I'm not sure if those have been changed. Uh, ice pillar. Oh, by the way, um, all of the characters in this game sort of name their moves themselves. That's why, like, uh, Ramlethals are in Esperanto, for example. Dizzy's are just, you know, here's what I did with this when I lived in the forest kind of names, which is really cute. <laughs> uh, okay, so I use this catch fish. Bump. Like, um, like with Bedman's command names, it's pretty normal to come up with nicknames for these, because these names are pretty impractical. <laughs> is it like a fixed range thing? Yeah, yeah, the HS one's further away. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I have Ice Field. I believe the effect of Ice Field is it makes opponents slower and it makes you faster. I think that's what it does. Some chestnuts. What is a projectile above? Oh right, yeah. Um, the flame, the flame spear thing. Uh, I think it's the same input as Exard. Um, but yeah, Necro still has fire powers. <laughs> okay. Um, we talk a lot together. Oh, fish. Uh, fish are a big part of Dizzy's uh, playstyle. She summons these little guys, and then the little guys. Uh, go out and do, like, Okazeme and stuff. 
Um, so typically you would just call that move fish. <laughs> and this one is like spear or something like that. Uh, Michael Sword. The reason this one has like a name instead of just what she did with it, this is actually one of Justice's moves. Uh, and Dizzy sort of inherited it in this game by lots of things. Um, there were, were ways for the like EX versions of Dizzy to use this move before, but it's it's actually her move now by looks of things. Bomb, big old sword. Also, yeah, Michael Sword is a ridiculous name. We think it's referring to like the angel, like biblically, but it's still a ridiculous name. Bump. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, Wings of Light. This is the really interesting one. Uh, so the way this works, uh, she brings out these little wings, which do nothing for a while. Uh, if she gets hit, then they go away. But eventually, they turn into bigger wings. And it's not working because we're in training mode, but the big wings actually drain the opponent's health very quickly. And that can't be blocked. You can see, like, the effect it's having is, like, making the health go... <laughs> Wait, no. That way, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess it doesn't work properly in training mode with health regen on. But yeah, uh, Wings of Light is very powerful. It does drain tension while it's draining health, but it drains health very quickly, so... Uh, these overdrives are not new. Um... These are pretty much the ones Busy always has. Uh... Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, and ga uh, Gamma Ray, again, is a thing that Justice could do, uh, which is why Dizzy can do it too. Uh, but they've changed it up a bit, so if you watch, like, the animation for it... If I mess up the input, that's great. Yeah, you can see the cinematic. She's, like, panicking uh, from the strength, but then she's reassured by Necro and Undyne, and then they work together. Which is really cute. Like, the overall idea here is that Dizzy is confident in her powers and doesn't need to be afraid of herself, which is very sweet. Um. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's enough training, let's, let's get into actual game. Um, I've mostly just talked about how much I love her because she's my favourite, but... Arcade. Let's go into the arcade. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think her color 2 is meant to look like her previous look from the older games. So it gets rid of some of the, like, embellishments and stuff like that. And it puts yellow flowers in her head, like how she had the ribbons. <sighs> oh, Lewis. Okay. I wonder what the story's gonna be about. Like, like, she knows most people who've been, been in previous games. God, Lewis is not one of those people. They knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. <laughs> heaven or hell. He's so pretty. Well, I'll be. It's you. So you found me. Okay, so so she does know who Gold Lewis is. Gold okay. Lewis. I guess that makes sense. He is like a public official. <laughs> Ow. 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 Yeah, okay, I don't really know how to play yet. <laughs> Okay. There's no time to stumble 
Mr. Dickinson. You're Queen Dizzy of Violadia. Why are you here? A VIP such as yourself shouldn't be walking around here without a security detail. I wanted to be alone for a bit. I needed space to think. Hmm. In light of your position, Your Majesty, I sure can't blame you. Yes. I can't have my son procrastinating on his homework. As a parent, should I scold him or reason with him? It's so difficult to decide. I love that so much. Yeah. That's a real puzzler. <laughs> oh, Dizzy. <laughs> She's so great. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. Mankind knew that they could I kind of need to let it run through so I can check if they re interact like with everyone. <laughs> also, yeah, her intro is so cute. Literal Disney princess. You can run. I won't mind. This is the power I've discovered. Okay, those both sounded pretty generic. I think that's Queen Also, her voice is so cute. Oh my god. She's um, played by Kira Buckland in the English dub. Uh, who apparently... Dizzy is one of her dream roles. Uh, she's been, like, loved the character for years, which is super adorable. Um, this looks really good, actually. <laughs> Okay, so the, the novel can be like slower or faster depending if you hold the button. Interesting. Slayer, okay. Apparently they've nerfed Slayer a little bit in this update. Um, there was a pretty significant balance update, along with Dizzy being released. Um, I'm too gay and stupid to really understand it. I just know that Dizzy's in the game now and I love her. <laughs> Mankind knew that they can um, but yeah, I think, I think Slayer got nerfed a little bit. They blame the beasts in heaven or hell. Those also sounded generic, but maybe not. I don't know. 
Finding um H Microsoft is pretty good with like a frame trap because it's a little bit delayed. It tends to count quite well. Oh no. That's so mean. What is he? How do you do this? There's no time to stumble around. Queen Disney wins. Duel 2. Let's rock. Oh, there's a little fireball thing. I hadn't tried that. Nice. That's um, my JD. Hey, Giovanna. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. <laughs> Heaven or hell. Not that there are bluebirds just everywhere. <laughs> Can we get this over with? That's a generic one. I'll be home before supper. Yeah, that is a generic one. Okay. Queen Disney versus Giovanna. Duel 1. Let's rock. Not quite. You're meant to fast. Oh, I'll go slower. Ow. <laughs> Oh damn. That's a round loss. animation where she checks on you. Oh, what a baby. <laughs> I mean, it's not really baby. I I'm just talking like that because that's what I call my cat. <laughs>
above her again? Yeah. Obviously it is because it, you just said it, but it's like really good for her character. <laughs> oh. Might have interactions with Nago, maybe? I don't know. I'm curious who her boss is going to be. Maybe maybe it's Sin and she's just trying to get into his homework. But maybe it's someone else. Society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. I, I really love her intro, she's so adorable. Oh. have a line with Asuka. She doesn't really know him, but she, but he did sort of interact with her in the older games a little bit, but there's a good chance she didn't know that was him because he had the hood up. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, they play with the beasts, heaven, or hell. I'm sure I'll be done in 198 seconds. I can out. I'll be home before supper. Oh, hey, they said similar things. <laughs> it's completely for coincidence, I guess. Because those are both generic lines. Go back. 
with the tail. Will be random because I'm on hard route. Okay, so Sin is not the boss. Okay. Unless they've changed how the format works, which is entirely possible. Generally, on hard route, uh, stage 7 would be random. And then on extreme, it would be a rematch with stage 1. But maybe they changed it. Who knows? Mankind knew that they cannot change society. At least you've got to have, have an interaction, right? That is an in-character interaction, yep. <laughs> but you blow my socks off every day. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I believe they slowed down Sin's stamina regen, but made the like, actual effect it has stronger, so that it's a bit more like impactful and not just how his combos work. Something like that. Again, I I'm gay and stupid. I, I just like Dizzy. <laughs> There's no time to stumble around. <laughs> I thought it was working really well, actually. Ow. I don't want to see if I can use the wings for something. I haven't managed to hit them prop yet. Ow. I imagine they're quite hard to use in a fast-paced game like this. Because they take a very long time to proc. I got magic pixels. <laughs> I think I'm doing my input for Overdrive wrong, because they seem to be working as reliably as I was expecting. I'm just doing it too slow. I can't see with my inputs, of course, so it's a bit hard to tell. I like how the damage comes after Jesse's told them, like, 
is a little bit of damage, but then the big hit is after she's told Necro to stop. <laughs> it's like, the damage doesn't come from Necro squeezing you, it comes from Dizzy being a good parent. <laughs> Maybe he will finish his errands next time, who knows. Abba? Lewis and Abba, I would not have seen that coming. Oh, fascinating. What an amazing choice. <laughs> okay, so I'm on hard route, so Gold Lewis should help me in this fight. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So I wonder why they picked like Abba. I guess I'll see you when I'm gonna see what the story's about. So Abba knows us already? I mean, that makes sense, we're queen. Like, the, sorry, Dizzy's a queen, everyone knows her. But she knows Abba as well. Okay. I have a was in XX, so it kind of makes sense. On the land. There you are. I see you over there with a UMA on you. Oh, oh right. I see. All right, Celsius is a UMA, right? Violence to him because she's busy. I say is I smack someone with a giant sword. <laughs> I feel like this is just gonna end too quickly for the wings to even proc. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't thought my buddy pulled punches. Maybe I took it too far. I love her. Not a perfect turn. That's fine, man. Surprise there, I suppose. Impressive power, all right. That's the fabled Queen Dizzy. Well, it looks like you're both all right now. Mr. Dickinson, you shouldn't corner her when she's clearly scared. Uh, you're right. Sorry about that. <laughs> As for you, Abba, your poor husband is not a tennis racket. B but... <laughs> He started it. The whole reason we have language is so we can talk things out. Come now. Use your words. Let's talk through what's on our minds. Violence is no way to communicate, after all. A way to communicate? Use our words, huh? Boy, when you're right, you're right. Oh yeah, there's different music over the credits for Dizzy for some reason. It might be a season four thing, or it might be a Dizzy thing. The girl who lost her way, there is a rainforest. Sounds like Piano Man. She didn't know <laughs> what way I had, but she had to go on. Oh, 
Good old Billy Joel. <laughs> I think I've let the credits run through a little bit. Sounds a lot like Piano Man. I wonder if that's intentional. This Disney plushie is super adorable. Why? I mean, it's Disney, of course it's adorable. Oh. Hey. Game okay, over? over? Yeah, I called it. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the new song, I guess. <laughs> I got a badge. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I do know what that means. I should know why I would have gotten a badge. Okay. Um. I think I'll just jump back in here real quick and just look at each of Disney's colors because I didn't do that before. Um, and then we're gonna call it a video, I think. Okay, so I just pull it one we've seen. Uh, then this second one, it definitely feels like it's trying to evoke our old color scheme. Um. Just making her clothes, like, more white, giving her the yellow flowers. Uh, then we've got, like, a blonde Dizzy. <laughs> oh, that's weird. She needs to have blue hair and pronouns, clearly. Uh, oh, that one's cute, though. Oh, I like that one. 
got like a little blush. Oh, look, look at the... Oh, that's, that's a cute one. I like colourful. Oh. Well, that eight as usual is sort of a pinkish one. Uh, color 12 is trunk lines. And the colors after that are usually the same for everyone. They're just like, basically, they're st just it's like a standard color with like accents and a few different tones. Oh yeah, and then there's this one. Color 16, which is the kind of saturated -y sort of look. It's like more striking colors. It's interesting. Okay, um, so I really like her default color. Um, that looks great. I also really like Color 4. She looks really pretty. Um, I would miss the blue hair. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so Dizzy's in the gang now. <laughs> oh, I just, I really love her. Um, I should probably do a mod to update uh, her text there, like I've done with every other character. <laughs> oh. It's so interesting that they picked Gold Lewis and Abba as the people who are arcade. I, I feel like they they probably wanted her to like lecture someone and it didn't make as much sense for it to be someone she already like was really close to, like Kyle Sin. Whereas yeah, making a Gold Lewis and Abba and having her be like, you know, no, no. It's our words, that's we need to use our words, don't don't use violence, that's no way to communicate. It's just, yeah, it's super cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm gonna call that a video. Um, I'm really, really glad this is in the game now because I adore her. She's an absolute delight. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to main her. Um, like, I've already put a lot of time into this Bridget over here, um, and I'm not sure I'm quite getting Dizzy's game plan just yet. Uh, but I, I will be experimenting more, and maybe she'll be beyond my pocket character? I don't know. But regardless, she is my absolute favourite character in the game. And the series. And ever. So... <laughs> uh... Red, red, red. I might just jump back in for a little bit. Have a little looky loo here. That's so pretty. I haven't tried taunting. Can I see what happens if I taunt? Hello. The smell's almost over. <laughs> it might work in chicken soup. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, that's her respect. I love her so much. And all of her, like, just walking animations are so adorable. I say walking, she's like gliding because she's she's angelic. Um, but like, yeah, going forward she's got the little... And then going back she goes. Oh, also this. This, this is the Rydal animation with the fixing the... The, uh, the flowers. Um, she does something very similar in Exile as well. Um, she's wearing different clothes, obviously, but her idle animation in that game as well is like fixing up what she's wearing. Um, so I'm glad they sort of evolved that a little bit. <laughs> also, her crouching animation is very cute too. Just crouch for a little bit. She's got a squirrel. <laughs> Know that I love her. 
Oh, also, look, when she jumps, she, like, grabs her dress. Oh. Oh, sweetie. I'm just very happy. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna take some practice. Um, I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, I'm gonna go update my mod. <laughs> and... So look what a, check what a wild top looks like, actually. Hang on. Oh, she uses like an ice tail thing. I like that. Oh, and, and I'm done to fix you. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Same damage regardless of whether you hold it. Oh, 61's a little bit more. Okay. I was actually trying to do dust there, but. I'm still holding forward. Okay. End of video. This is in the game now. She is the delight. I love her very much. And I'm so happy that she's in the game. Well, while I was making that slideshow for this video, I actually like burst out sobbing. When I was looking at the parts for another story about how Kai abdicated the throne, I, I was just so emotional about this character. I love her so much. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Um, yeah, if it looks like she might be someone you want to play in the game now, play her. Also, her song is in the game, and it's fantastic. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>